what's good you guys this is your girl kiki and i'm back with another video today you guys don't mind me chewing because when i'm chewing gum i get very disrespectful with the gum but if you hear noise in the background of course it's the kids if you hear like a windy noise in here it's because of the ac in my fan it gets hot around these pots okay not only that at our house the sun beams from the backyard and my room is pointed my room window is pointed through the backyard so I get a lot of sun in this room and it gets very hot. So I'm trying to keep it cool around these paws. You feel me? Because I am a big girl. A AKA a biggin. You feel me? I ain't got time to be doing all that extra sweating. Okay. Okay. So if you read the title, we are going to be going through my makeup bin. And I'll be explaining to you guys what is in my makeup bin this has been a long time video coming or whatever and i'm gonna also tell you where i got these products from some of i remember some of them i may not remember i also going to um give you a rundown on what i use to wash my face after i had all this makeup on and cleanse my face real well we could just go ahead and get into the video so as you know, your girl love makeup. I love makeup. That's what most of this channel is about, makeup. And yeah. So we're going to start from the tippy top. And I spit that gum out because, yeah, I didn't want to be disrespectful. And I also know when I chew gum, it gets pretty loud. I, you know, even to the point kids be like, oh, why are you chewing that gum like that? Is you hungry type thing? No, I'm not hungry. But I also realize too, sometimes when I'm talking and I'm not chewing on something, my mouth get very watery and I have to keep doing like that. So I don't want to be spitting on anything or whatever, whatever, but it is what it is. Don't talk to me, talk to yourself. Mm. So we're going to start from the, like I said, from the tippy top of my makeup bin. Now, I don't know if previously in the previous video, if I showed you guys how my makeup, makeup, Wah, wah, wah. how my makeup bin is it's one of these classic draw sets that I got from um, my local family dollar and it was like $12 for the bin and then it included a bonus it's supposed to be a shoe box but it's a bonus little bin inside of it that I use for miscellaneous stuff so if you've never seen one let me see like a slider it's kind of heavy yeah mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. There you go. There, there you go. Let me try to slide it so you can see it just a little bit. If you know what I'm talking about. So, that's what I'm talking about. And I am currently on my bedroom floor um, doing this video. I didn't have nowhere else to go. So, another thing before I get deep into this video. Do not come for me in the way I look right about now. Your sister girl is having a, a bad hair day. My weave is slipping. I need a new do. Or whatever case it be. And I know hubs ain't about the dang old pick for me to get my hair fixed. So, I don't have to spend enough of his money already. But that's another story. Or whatever. I'm going to try to push this back a little bit without my situation falling. Because, y'all, try to set up and to record is a lot. Like, for real, trying to set up and record is a lot. So, I'm trying to record this video trying to record this video before hubs get home too because once he get home he makes a lot of noise and he be all in my background trying to be all of my videos like he dang no puff diddy puff diddy puff daddy sean carter that's that my name is sean Con you, whatever you y'all get what i'm trying to say but yeah let's get into this video so we gonna start from the beginning the top part so the top part, I just hold my makeup brushes or whatever and my olive oil. My olive oil is what I use to clean my brushes with. I use olive oil and dish detergent. 
I don't know what you guys use to uh, do y'all with, but this is what I use for my makeup brushes. Um, I had brush cleaner before, which I use this little thing right here to clean them with. It's like a little ridgy thing. I was using this or whatever case may be. I do use this when I'm cleaning my makeup brushes, but like I said, I get a plate and I put some olive oil on the plate with some dish detergent or whatever. And I take my brushes and I go through the oil and the dish detergent, clean them off, whatever, whatever. Scrub it on that little pink thing I just showed you and rinse them off. Like I said, I did have brush cleaner, but now Ty has it because I don't use it no more. But I found olive oil dish detergent works a whole lot better. You probably think like, why you use olive oil to be oily? No, olive oil works perfect. When I use the brush cleaner that I gave Ty, it made my brushes oily and stiff. Now you're probably thinking like, okay, using olive oil is oily and it might do the same thing. No, when I use olive oil and dish detergent to clean my makeup brushes, brushes it cleans it and it gets my uh, brushes back to the consistency that it was. So that's why I love this or whatever. What I'm thinking about doing is putting some dish detergent in here, some detergent in here and just let it sit and marinate together. You know, even though dish detergent and this thing gonna work together, but I'm gonna put it in there together and let that be that. So these are my makeup brushes. This box or whatever, all these came, this is the, the Morphe James Charles ones both of them are um this is this container here holds the brushes that i use on a daily as you can see some of them are not used but some of them are but i use these on a daily excuse me sister had to get a drink of water because i started coughing no i don't got the rona but <clears throat> when i get overheated i'll get hot i start coughing okay then when i'm sitting here talking <clears throat> I start coughing but um some of these brushes like i was saying i haven't used yet some of them i have but these are my for now brushes if that makes sense these are the brushes that i use <clears throat> on a daily or when i do do my makeup these are the brushes that i use or whatever and then the bigger one is basically extra brushes so when i um purchase both of these because basically they are two separate things but the same brushes for my makeup people who who do know for the ones that don't know basically the smaller tube i have um it was the 25 dollars set basically when james charles came out with his mini james charles palette he came out with a smaller version of the big one where he didn't have so much makeup brushes in that one as they have in this one so <clears throat> when i got both of them or whatever it made sense to me because I just wanted extra brushes and this big old thing are extra brushes Some of these brushes I do need to take out and actually use because I'm not gonna lie like I told you guys before I am NOT a makeup artist. <clears throat> I desire to be one. I like playing the makeup I like to make myself look cute. I like to make others look cute. I watch YouTube videos during it every day um, on my snapchat or whatever I'll get like different makeup ideas or whatever um different look ideas as far as eyeshadows or whatever and i'm gonna euthanize some of those or whatever the best of my ability or whatever you guys so like i was saying these are <clears throat> extra brushes and stuff this is a buffer brush this is a contour blush brush um this is an angle couture brush or whatever where you go up whatever but like i said <clears throat> this is the basically extra brushes we have some brushes that are like these two like these two are the same brushes so it's basically extra brushes inside here <clears throat> or whatever case me just in case i run out or one of my brushes in the smaller part the smaller collection gets ruined i have backup so yeah that is what that is what in is on the top of my makeup bin. So now we are going into the first part of the bin. I took it out so I can get to the things in here better. And I'm gonna sit right here on the baby fat. <laughs> All this goodness or whatever case it be. And we're gonna go through each one of these. Um, 
Also, while we're going through them, I'ma explain was in in every bin. Um, if I do remember where I get some of the stuff from, I will disclose. Will say where I got some of these stuff from. Yeah. So this is the first bin, and <clears throat> this is one of my bags that I have, and I have different sponges and stuff in it. This is where I keep all my sponges and stuff in. We have, I don't never use these. I don't know why. Actually, I don't really understand why it's in there. I do need to get some more, though, because I do use these a lot. These little doohickeys a lot. I tried to use them before one time, but I don't know. I really need to clean this out. And this is, you know, you could, as you can see, this is my favorite go-to. I always use in that one. But I do need to... <clears throat> I need to clean them that's what I need to do but I also need to get extra but I do have a lot of these and I honestly do not know what these are really 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 use for I just use them and it's just there <clears throat> so yeah my sponges are in here uh, okay this is another one of my little baggies and this here I keep my mascaras in which I need to then go make some more. So if you're watching this, go ahead and get your pen and paper out. Write down everything I said that I need. Write them back in the comments. I got you. Yeah. So, which I need to get some more. A lot of y'all write this down now. Help me out. Now, help me out. But yeah. So <clears throat> this is why I keep my basically like the eye stuff. Not all eye stuff, but you get what I'm saying so these are my <clears throat> mascaras this is my go to one I need to get some more of these this was the, the Falsies Volume Express I just love how this make my eye like extend where um, with that I don't have to put on lashes sometimes um, these are the rest of these stuff are my eyebrow pencils what is this here this is um my liquid eyeliner from tarte and i actually got this this is so cute because it has like the little kitty cat on it as you can see i have a little kitty cat from, on it i got this from epsy ipsy <clears throat> if y'all never heard of the company it's like you can sign on to it for like 10 dollars a month give or take like twelve dollars and they give you a bunch of uh well actually what you do is you make a profile based on the stuff that you like and they'll just send you like different little samples of their stuff each and every month and it's like ten dollars a month give or take 12 ish because of the shipping and handed i want to say and a process of fees but it's not bad because they give me a bunch of stuff which i have in here and i'll be showing you some of the stuff that they gave me but this is one of the things that came in one of my epsi bags which is <clears throat> this like this is the FC bag that they gave me so cute because it's Betty Boop and I actually have a Be Betty Boop liquid eyeliner which is this one right here my Betty Boop FC eyeliner I'm bringing it up close to y'all so y'all can see a Betty Boop FC eyeliner and I love it <clears throat> it's a liquid eyeliner so these are liquid eyeliners um, this is for my brows when I do my brows um i have like several liners um i don't really use i i don't really use them i have a lot of stuff that i have like all these went together and i bought these um what is the name of them? the la colors well one of them is la color and yeah both of these are la color here and the other one is Ellen Tracy eyeliner pencil. These basically are lip liners, eyeliner, liquid lip gloss, not liquid, liquid eyeliners and stuff like that. So basically these are nothing but eyeliners and stuff that I have in here. Also, this right here, I just recently purchased and I purchased this off of the Alta website. Is a persistently my brow pencil precisely 
is the Alter, Alter Fine Brown Defining Pencil. <clears throat> and I just purchased this from Alter, and y'all, it works. I love this so far. Because I call myself using this to go get, um, to, I went somewhere and I just wanted to do my eyebrows. Just only my eyebrows. And I use this. Oh my goodness, I love it. Like I had a um, <clears throat> retractable eyebrow pencil somewhat like this or whatever. But every time I twist the thing up to try to use it, it's pop or it's like mush down the way case to be. And this is like once you oh, like twist, you just got to twist it just a little bit and it goes far. I just purchased that. Um, this hair is from, let me take the thing off it. Okay, it's this thing that I've seen on Facebook. I never took the thing off it. I never used it. This is basically something new to the collection. Um, that's not cute. But it is a glitter eyeshadow palette. And I purchased this off Facebook. You know them little websites on Facebook that be trying to get you the body stuff? I'll just throw that right there. But yeah, and it wasn't what... I haven't used it yet, so I don't know how how it might apply to my eye but let me open and show you it is like a little small glitter eyeshadow kit <clears throat> a little something something a little small some video you playing or whatever i haven't used it yet but i am going to try to use it to see how it glides on and how well does it how well that it sticks <clears throat> to my eye and y'all as i'm going through this stuff as i put it back i am going to be organizing this stuff because it's a little cluttered and then it's a lot okay so this is my betty boop mc bag i love betty boop it's several kind of there's like a couple of um mc bags that i kept this is one of them this is this little silver thing and betty boop was one of them that i kept so we're gonna go ahead and get into what's in Betty Boop. Oh, Betty Boop is just my highlighters. Everything in here are highlighters. Um, and these some of these are like this one here from Space Case Cosmetics. This is a highlighter. This came from Epsi. This is one of the samples from Epsi. Um, this highlighter I have for years, as you can tell, it looks retarded. Let me open it and show y'all. It looks kind of Riri, I'm trying to show y'all how it looks because that light is bright. But this is one that I had a while now. I got this actually from Walmart. <clears throat> um, but I love how like that's what I use when y'all see my highlight pop and stuff like that. That's what I use. Um, this right here is a lush eyeshadow by Iby Beauty. And this is another sample that came from um, Epsi. And that's how it looks. I'm going to use that too to see what kind of eye I can create with this. But it's so pretty. Um, put these right here. Um, yeah, this is another one called Estate. It's an eyeshadow. Basically, all like the little small stuff like these. Oh, and I love how this like glad I had swipe um swatched it on my arm and oh my god I love the way it came out. So I'll be trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. Um, this right here is a glitter eyeshadow type thing. You just like put it, I put it like in the corner of my eye, like in my tear duct area. But this is something I had for a while that came from Walmart, I believe. No, I believe this this is wet and wow. This actually came from Dollar Tree. Yeah, this came from Dollar Tree, and I liked I liked it or whatever. But yeah, this is my Malone highlighter brush. Um, this is blush, you know, and this came from Epsi. I don't know what the um, was who made this or whatever, but it came from Epsi. This another thing that came from Epsi called Phase Zero Makeup, and it's a velvet press eyeshadow. And this is really cute. Like, it's really cute. I can see y'all. You can see me. <laughs> but this is really cute. And, uh, what else I got in here? Da -da -da. 
and this is a nomad intense eyeshadow this was another uh, okay 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 <laughs> this is another um eyeshadow from nomad and this was another sample thing from epson so yeah that's all in that bag y'all i got so much stuff so y'all gonna bear with me and we gonna work 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 on getting through this video because i got a lot of stuff so that's in that bag this bag here consists of what oh extra stuff from epsi that i don't use i haven't used um it was just some samples of stuff that i used from epsi this is a the true cream moisturizing balm um you're supposed to apply to your face and neck or whatever um I don't know what it smells like but it smells like something but yeah this was some samples that i got from epsi this is mascara i had to look deep and hard for it this is mascara this is a sample from epsi and this is a uh pressed from focal point glow lighter and this is a pressed highlighter that i bought or whatever well not bought that they gave me let me see i don't even know why open this and see what it looks like but i mean we're gonna we're gonna look at it together no i think i never want this because yeah that's what that looks like oh my god that's what that looks like or whatever that's kind of cute that's real cute it's like this need to be where the highlighters are at we're gonna put it in here for now um what is this this is an eyeshadow from Empire State. I don't think I opened this either. Like, why is these in here? And they're supposed to be in Betty Boop. But I, oh, this is pretty. This is pretty. Y'all gonna have to tone this light down. Hold up. As y'all can see, that's how that looks. We gonna get some light back here in a minute. Hold that thought. Like I said, we're gonna get some light in that, but this is the end of that palette. Okay, of course, I have my makeup wipes that I use as one palette for a new um, over here. Um, and then there's like the extra ones. Um, then I have this bag, and these are like little perfume samples. That I got from Ulta. Like every time I go to Ulta or whatever case it be and purchase anything. This is what they give me or whatever. And the lady be like, what you like? And this like this perfume, what is this one? This from Calvin Klein. I love this. So I have like several of these. Like Chanel. I have Fresh Cream. Um, Grace. This is Chanel. Like I have like little samples of perfume in here. Um, don't need this. This is my NYX or NYX Professional Makeup Duo Chrome Matte Lip Gloss. It is a shimmery lip gloss. Y'all, I applied this to my lips one time and it was real, real shimmery. Like, it just gave me a color that I don't know if I was happy with. But I feel like if you probably apply it to something else, maybe it'll come out great. Um... Like I was saying, when I got this, this come with a bin, and this bin just got extra stuff in it, like extra miscellaneous stuff in here, like extra bottles in case I need it. Um, my shower caps, um, my clean professional lucid powder. I got this from Walmart. Uh, Revolution Luxury. This is my baking powder. I think I got this from Walmart too. This is another one. I definitely know I got that from Walmart. Um, this is Hard Candy Longwear Primer. I got this from Walmart. <laughs> uh, my Make It Do It Mil Milani Spray. Got this from Walmart and I need some more of this because I really love it. Um, this was another sample that I got from Epsi that I need to... Um, put inside a different bag well not really um this is my lip treatment thing my lip treatment of course you can see i have used it like crazy 
it really comes off real smooth and good for me um what is this this is another something i got from fcc is some type of face facial serum i have never used it because i don't know what it's for this is some primer i got from epsi this is hand cream that i got from epsi these are extra face brush my scrubby brushes that i use um, this is removes waterproof mascaras and i got this from walmart so basically all i'm stubborn when you've got mascara on your eye because i have i have had this situation and i'm sure y'all have probably had the situation before but you know what is at the end of the night and you try to get that stubborn makeup off your face clean your face it's something about mascara that does not come off or whatever like it sticks to your eyelashes so this is with this for you put it on one of the little pads or whatever like one of those scrubby pads or fake makeup pads and it'll get it off for you um this is my colique colique moisturizing gel i use this after i do my face this right here is a miracle worker something something another if i'm not mistaken i have never used this and if i'm not mistaken this is something i got as a sample from Etsy, no. I think either I got it from Etsy or I got it from Alta. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, what else I didn't show you guys? Um, this is a cleanse off oil that I got from, I want to say, Etsy as well. I'm not 100% sure. I like smelling things. I don't know why. I'm going to smell something one day that's not the best one. Tear my nose up. I ain't telling y'all no lie. Um, this is something else I got from Etsy. Something else I got from Etsy. I don't even know what this is. It's a clay mask thing. I might try it out and see what happens. And see what's what. Um, I got this here. This is a Revolution um, Brow Permit. And a dark brow. And I got this from Walmart. This here is the Monat. Mon no, it's not Milani. This is NYX Nix or however you want to pronounce it. I do NYX because I'm not sure how you pronounce the thing. But this is another um, setting spray that I really really like too. And this is a, um, a eyebrow pencil, uh, eyebrow gel. Yeah, it's so tiny. It's an eyebrow gel. So, yeah. That is all the stuff in the first bit. So, y'all, I have some things that are surrounding me, surrounding me right now. So, I'm going to go through with that before I get to the second bin. And the stuff that are surrounding me right now are my face wash stuff. So, this is what I use to cleanse my face. This is a Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. Y'all, I'm telling you guys, if you do not get this, you will not have that glow, baby. This makes your face all worthy. Like, for real. This does justice to your face. I need to get some more because me and baby both using this stuff. I got to get some more. But this does wonders to your face. It makes your face so clean. Like, it makes your face very, very clean. Um, this is a, a clean and clear, night relaxing, deep cleansing face thing. I use this too. Um, it really does exactly what it says. Like, it winds you down and washes away daily buildup. And it has sea minerals and sea kelp extract. Kelp extract. And this really does, as y'all can see, like, it's really not much in the bottom. As y'all can see. But I use this too. Like when I had a hard, hard day, especially at work, and my face is just going through it. Yeah, this helped me a lot the web kissing me. But this got like those that exfoliating feeling to it and it's deep cleaning. It's oil free and whatever. It really, really does help you. Like it don't clog your pores or whatever. And it just is these two products are wonderful. But this right here is where is that like this really helps your face this basically more so helps your face get that that bounce back this is what helps your face 
from them bumpy days, honey. It don't give you none of that stuff. It makes your fit nice and clear. This is right here is more so like a daily, like it's a daily wash, but this is more so like from sweaty type of situations, if that makes sense. Um, so after I finish cleaning my face, I need to put this up here. After I finish cleaning my face, I use this right here is the Clinique, Clinique Clarifying Lotion. And it's basically a toner or whatever case it be. It is a, it's a foliator as well. As you can see, I use this a lot. So basically you use like you wash. So basically hand in hand, you wash your face, you tone it, and then you moisturize your face. Um, like you see, there's not much in here. So I did buy a backup or whatever case it be. They both, it supposed to both do the same thing, but it just works different ways. This is a three, this is a four. Um... But they both they both do the same thing. They both the same thing as a clarifying lotion. But this one is um, to help oily grease, and this one here is a combination of oily and whatever dry skin, this and that, a third, whatever dry faces, whatever. So I use this as, after I finish washing my face. Um, even though I use that to wash my face, I also use you know just a simple alcohol rubbing alcohol on my face or whatever I put in one of my little cotton swabs and once I do that I'll do this after I wash my face this right here basically when I wash my face it helped me get the like the rest of the dirt or something that I may miss or whatever alcohol works wonder but not the white alcohol this alcohol here this here 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 Keep what I'm saying this this helps your face a lot or whatever and then I'll moisturize my face so yeah that was that on to part two of the bins so now we have bin number two bin number two and i need to add some more things to this bin so while i'm talking to you guys i'll be trying to organize this a little bit like i did the first one i organized that a good bit and now the draw size in perfectly okay so in this bin i have a lot of stuff this is my pouch where my foundations and my concealers which i need to figure out like a roti roti why i can't talk to this see that's what happened when i spit out that dang old gum because y'all made me spit out my gum now i can't even talk straight don't talk to me talk to yourself but um it's even broke look at this this is the struggle but I need to figure out if I can rotate this to something else because, yeah, look at these. This is, this is not cute. This was once the gamble, but this, this is not cute. Actually, this little baggie was what this was in. Like, I had like three little bottles of these inside there with something else, but, however, whatever. But these are my Revolution um, concealers. And I got these from Ulta, of course. Um, this is my NYX NYX or whatever you want. This is a deep cool. Now, I got this one. And I had another one, but I think I threw it away because I felt like it wasn't my complexion. I felt like it was making me darker. I am still going on a hunt on a journey to figure out my true complexion. And if you wonder why it's getting dark and light up in here, because that is the sun out there. <laughs> so, yeah this is that and this is in the color deep cool or whatever but this works very well um these like these little concealer hair i got from my local hair store and these are by um by ruby kisses i believe or kiss or whatever but these are this is in the color beige glow this is in the color neutral this is in the color cool tan i tell y'all today i can't get together um this one and this one are concealers i can't tell y'all where i got um uh, i know where i got it from this one is in rich brown and these are from the beats the burt's bees goodness glows liquid makeup but i use these y'all no lie i use these as concealers Cause these are not my color this one here is in the shade coco coca but i use these for concealer like when i'm out of concealer like i fill them little bottles up and i'll use it 
Um, can't tell y'all where this from because this is not my complexion at all. This I got from, this is a Broadway color, if I'm not mistaken, I got it from my local Dollar General. And this little Priscilla here I got from Dollar Tree or whatever. So that's what's in this bag, which I need to find a new bag for it. Because, yeah, this is not the way. This is all broke. And it looks crazy like this. So, yeah, that's what's in this bag. Okay. And this bag is full with makeup, extra makeup brushes. <laughs> extra, extra makeup brushes. Like, I have nothing but. Basically, these are the old gang. My old faithfuls. And I still use them. I still use them. I, just because I got some new new in the back over there. You think I'm going to switch up on my stuff? now? Nah, because these things held me down now. You feel me? Like, I had these things for years. All I do is clean them. And keep them good. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, these are all makeup brushes. All makeup brushes. That have helped your girl bring y'all some videos and contents and stuff. Let me... Oh, Lord. Why did I pull them up? But, yeah, these brushes are came from clutch for your girl. So, yeah, this bag is full with the old homies that stole new homies. Like, they gotta get their own bag. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, but I think I might transfer these until... Ooh. That is exactly what I'm gonna do when I get to town. I'm gonna transfer these and to over there. I'm sure they may fit, they may not. I don't know. However, it's gonna go in there. So that's makeup brushes. And this bag here is all my lipsticks. And y'all know I love matte lipsticks. And half of these um, lipsticks I got from Walmart. Like these right here, the the Revlon Ultra HD matte lipstick. I got those from. Um, from Walmart, some of them I've been had, some of them I got from, you know, like the little makeup palettes, Family Dollar sale, I got some of them out there, um, I got some from Family Dollar, like this one of the makeup little things that came out the little palettes in Family Dollar, but these stuff like these, these came from um, Walmart, and I think I got about every color and matte lipstick the, from the Rev, Revlon and matte. Um, so, this was another thing that was sitting by me, and these are the new additions to my makeup. I still got some more coming, well not coming, I have to order them, but it will be here soon. But, I love Juvia's Place. I heard, I have seen a lot of people talk bad about Juvia's Place, how they don't support people, and yada, 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 the bad reviews that they have, you know shopping with Juvia's place um like I said I ordered these from Alta like two weeks ago so I had let me try to get comfortable being on this floor but yeah this is a tribe by Juvia Juvia's and let me show y'all what it looks like what the inside looks like I have not used this yet, so I'm about to come up with a face to use this. I might do that tomorrow, but yeah, that's how that palette looks. That is so freaking pretty. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't know what it is. Um, about this palette that nobody seems to like like that, but I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And this is one of the palettes that I want. I have several palettes that I do want from Juvia's. And that's one of them. This right here, the berries. I seen this on. I seen somebody use this on, I want to say YouTube. And I believe Instagram as well. And I seen it and I fell in love with it. And I fell in love with the colors. So when I went shopping on Ulta online, I seen it. And I had to get it. But yeah, I seen this one. I seen a YouTuber um, using this on 
a client's face or I don't know if it was a client of hers or just like one of her face she just basically, basically was showing her works but I seen this palette and I was like oh that is so cute so I had to get it I had to get it and this is what the palette looked like on the inside or whatever like this thing is super cute like it's really really cute I haven't used this yet because it just came like I want to say I got this like well, both of these palettes basically like two weeks ago. So, I haven't did a look on it yet, but I will. I will, I will, I will. Like my babe said, Tava, you got all that makeup in you. You, 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 you. <laughs> but I'm going to be using this one. Because I'll be giving y'all some looks. Okay, so... I don't have the boxes to these no more, but these are also from Juvia's Places. This is an Afro kit. Afro kit. I don't know how to pronounce some of these stuff, but if you know how to say it, then say it. Just don't come for me. But I think I have used this before. Probably not. It don't look like it. It's not disturbed. But even if it was disturbed, you will never know when I use my makeup because I don't... I cannot stand. Why? Let's let's talk about it. I cannot stand when people use makeup and they take that brow pencil, not brow pencil, them brushes, and dig in their stuff. It's all you know. What I'm saying some of these makeup palettes and stuff are very pigmented. All you gotta do is take your brush and tap and apply. Not dig and apply like, oh my God, you wonder why you be having so much fallout. You wonder why your dang old makeup looks so cakey. Then you want to talk about, oh, it's very pigmented. No, it's not very pigmented. It's too dead. You have too much in one spot. Okay. I'm back. But no, I haven't used this one, but this is pretty too. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to show y'all all, like, I'm not going to open up all my makeup stuff because a lot of them are still in, I might, I don't know. But this is how that one look. And this is from Juvia's as well. Uh, this is another one from Juvia's. And this is the Warrior by Juvia's. And this is basically have like all the... the uh, and I got to remember that I had this because I was about to order this again. I'm sure I was about to order this again. And I would have had two of them. And I would have been mad. Um, but this is the Warrior by Julius. And this is what these colors are. Basically like a bunch of neutral colors. I haven't used this one yet. But I will. Just to give y'all a neutral look. And guess what y'all? Sooner or later fall will be coming. So you know I'm going to be decorating. I'm going to be decorating this face with a bunch of fall colors. Because y'all know that is my favorite season. But this is how this palette looks, and it's pretty bomb. It's pretty cute. I love it. This is another Juvia's palette. I'm sure y'all have probably seen this one for sure, because I have used this one. And this is a Masquerade Mini by Juvia's. I have used this one. I don't know what happened to the plastic. But yeah, I have used this one before, and it's pretty too. It's really, really pretty too. I don't know what I did for the classic on this one. It probably came off, but I have used this one. I have used this color right here. Uh, yeah, I have used this color right here. Just put it, put it. But I'm gonna probably I'm gonna come to y'all with using these eyeshadows from Ju Juvia's. I want to get the rest of the stuff like the concealers, the um, the concealers, the foundation like during it, everything Juvia's got I want to use this stuff and just do a whole face of Juvia's products and send it to you guys um this right here is hard candy I had this for a little while and this came from Walmart nothing fancy um this is another one I came uh, of hard candy I like this one a lot too came from Walmart, not Walmart, or as Vicky called it, Walmart. And I have to get used to using this powder because if y'all see closely how that little stain right there 
it's me your makeup starting to get old and i don't want my makeup to get old and actually to be honest with you that's probably not why it's like that i believe i stuck this that's not why it's like that but if you do see your makeup cakey like that or whatever case it be it is getting on the reason why that looked like that because i used it before and when i used the brush that i used was wet so it made that little stain um yeah i don't know i'll swipe it on my leg um this right here is a revolution flawless flawless four palette i got this palette from um I got this palette from Ulta too. All right, bad bought me some food. Bad just got home, so I'm gonna be smacking while I'm explaining. But um, <laughs> it's another palette I got from um, Ulta, and believe me, you, this palette was like fifteen dollars. Expensive, huh? There's another one, and this is Sephora. I want to say Sephora or something from Revolution Extra Spice. And this is how the palette look. Y'all see me? This is how the palette look. <laughs> um, I haven't. I have used some of this, but like I said, you'll never know because I keep my stuff good. And I like some of the colors in here. Like this one right here says brownies. This chocolate orange. Dreams cookie dough cheesecake. Sweet and sour vitamin C. So I'm going to come to y'all with some looks. Like for real, for real. So that's another one I bought from um, Ulta. And it was like 15 bucks for that one too. And yeah, I am so hungry. Um, there's another one, Revolution, Alter Astro, Makeup Revolution London. Uh, I haven't used this one. Some of these makeup that I haven't used or may not want, I might just donate it to Tyrone. I'm trying to get her through throughout through her tomboy phase and get her into this girly girl phase. Or whatever kids it be because yeah, she killing it. But this is another palette. Or whatever. And it's very super cute. Very colorful. It has all the colors too, all the new colors. So you can do I'm sure I can do a good look with this. Um there's another one, the Fortune Fair favors the braid. And it's the Revolution London palette. Uh, some of these palettes are hard to open. Jeez. And this one is pretty cute. I really, really like the way this look in here. It it just reminds me of like the galaxy type stuff because how the 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 the, the looks are in here. Y'all can see me in the background. <laughs> how the looks are in here. And it got some like Milky Way looking colors and stuff like that. It is real super cute to me. So, yeah. Some of these palettes I need to make some room for. For real, for real. There I go. <clears throat> um, this one is a nude glam LA colors. Where did I get this from? I believe I got this from Walmart. This might be something I might donate to Ty. Yeah, something small, something simple. So all my donations to Ty go on one pile. Um, I think sometimes I'll be picking up makeup just to, because it's cute. Don't judge me. Because that's why I do it. Um, this right here, this is the Magnify, Magnify Eyes Crimson Edition from Ramel London. Um, yeah, that's something else I can donate to Ty. Because... I don't think I ever use this, but it's pretty. It's really, really pretty. Okay. It's really, really pretty. So I think I'm going to donate that to her. To tie it out. Um, and this is another one that magnifies Electric Valet Edition from Romel London. 
So if y'all remember that video, my husband did my makeup. This is a palette that he used. And as y'all can see, he dug in that thing something serious. He got on my complete nerves. As y'all can see. So this is another one I'll be donating the time. Um, this right here is the Color Workshop Smoky. I got this from, um, I got this from Family Dollar. Why did I pick it up? I don't know. But that's what it looks like. It's cute though. Ow. I have never used this one either. So I'll be donating it for her as well. Not only that, the donations, donating to her, a lot of this stuff has freed up my the second bin because I don't use them now, nigga. This one's called Peach B Buys Eyeshadow Palette. I used this before, but not like that or whatever. And I got this from my local family dollar as well. So that's another thing I'll be donating to her. Um, Color Mode Eyeshadow Palette LA Colors. I, I don't. I don't think I ever used this. I don't know. I'm for sure I never used this. I don't even remember where I got it from. I probably got it from my local family dollar, but I'll be donating that for her too. Cause Ty has the James Charles palette, and she has the Jaclyn Hill Volume One palette. She needs some more. Maybe a help her. You feel me? Maybe a help her figure out who she is. Because this little tomboy face she going through driving my nerves. Um, this is the LA Colors. It's a highlight blush and bronzer face palette. I might be giving this to her too. I don't know. Because that highlight right there look kind of butt beat right there. That one right there look kind of <laughs> alright. No, she ain't getting this one. Mm -mm. She definitely ain't getting that one, B. And then this is a Revlon Creamy Shadow. I had this before, but I used it all up or I lost it or whatever case would be. And somebody um, who knows that I love makeup actually brought it back for me. Because I don't know what I had. I had the same palette. And I don't know what happened to it. But I love creamy eyeshadows as well. What I don't like about creamy eyeshadows is the fact that why well, I got some on my nose. Mm. Okay, Ooh, pimple, gotta cleanse my face. But another reason why I don't like creamy eyeshadow palettes is because for the simple fact, when you start sweating, when you start sweating, especially up in this area, oh, that drip in your eye is something awful because it burns like hell. But I love it. So I'm going to keep it. And I'm going to keep this as well. So that's it for draw number two. Now we're about to get into draw number three. So now we have bin three. And this thing is heavy. So in this one here. Kind of dusty. <laughs> I have my girl Jacqueline Hill. And this is her volume two palette oh my god i think i'll show y'all shown y'all the this one here it's like a trophy coming up oh. <laughs> but this palette here i have used this palette and oh my god i love it i'm gonna be doing another look with this palette i did a look before this palette, I'm gonna start it on the screen using these little colors down here. It came out pretty cute, but this is my good old girl Jacqueline Hill, and I'm gonna be doing. I might do a tutorial today. I called Ty in the room earlier, well, just a few seconds ago, and she was doing her makeup. So I might do my makeup. I don't know because I feel and look like a troll right now. Cause my head ain't done but yeah we're gonna get into it 
So yeah, that's the Jaco Hair palette that I love, love, love so much. Stuff that back up in there. Why did I tell my food in my chest? Dang. This right here is another one of my favorite palettes. This is the Revolution London, the Emily edition. Um, I don't know if she made any other palettes or whatever, but I love this palette. I love this palette because it has colors in here that do transition in real well. And I know y'all, I know y'all have seen me use this palette talk about this palette so many times before so yeah this is one of my go-to palettes that i love oh and it fell right to the bottom oh this is a lot um this is a makeover essential mystic eye palette uh one of my friends that bought me this Along with several other things, I'm gonna well, I'm just go through the stuff that she bought me or whatever. She's like, I got a gift for you, and I'm like, What you got for me? And she's like, And she's like, Look, but this I never used this before. I got two creamy liners, and then six uh, eyeshadows, and then an applicator and a mirror, or whatever. But I never used it before. Something small, something slight, something she bought me to say thank you and show my appreciation um <clears throat> this is another thing that goes with it this is the highlighter bronzer and blush palette it's a brush palette or whatever she got for me as well and it's from from makeup makeover essentials and that's pretty cute i really like it it's pretty pretty cute Cause she didn't have to get it for me, but she did. Let me slide the protector back over. Y'all, it's good to keep y'all protectors when you buying makeup. When you got makeup, it's good to keep your protectors because your eye palette, your eye palette, your eye palette, your eyeshadow palette won't mess up. Uh, what else you got me? This right here. This is a. A shimmer powder brush that she got me and it is so cute but the thing about it you don't supposed to open this part like that we got the shimmery stuff down here so you gotta be careful when you open that and then that's what the brush look like. I think it's supposed to go in there. I don't know. I don't know how this works, y'all. But I'm going to read the directions and figure it out. But yeah, I don't know how they think you're supposed to get up in this thing. But that's super cute. Um, another thing she got me was this. This is by um, Makeover. This is, this is a contouring kit. That I need to start practicing with to learn how to do some serious contouring. Because that's one thing I haven't learned really, really good yet is how to contour. And they got the contouring book in here. I believe this is the book for it. Yeah. It's the contouring, you know, directions and how to do it or whatever for a certain type of faces. So if you have a long face, that's what your contour should look like. You have a pear face. I believe I have like a pear face. Let me see what type of face I got. Mm, I think I got between a pear face, a square face, and a round face. Which is those right there. So, I'm going to I'm gonna figure this out. But, yeah, y'all. And then this has a little picture look or whatever. But, this is... I don't think this is dark enough in my complexion. Because you know you have palettes up there that's really dark and they actually look perfect with your face and stuff. I don't think these are dark enough for my complexion, but we shall see. We shall see how that works out. I'm going to use it one day. And show y'all a little shump shump. Show y'all a little shump and shump. 
that's what she got me now the rest of this stuff um this is another empty bag don't know what's in oh little knickknacks and stuff stuff that i don't use i don't even know what it's for yeah some of these stuff i i don't i don't know i just put them in here because i my intentions were to use them but i never have this time about a body glue all up and then they got the little drop where you drop it baby I don't know how this works, but it's supposed to glow something on your body. I might have to Google this and look it up and figure out what you got to glow. Because <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, this is some miscellaneous stuff that I got from Etsy. Um, overnight serum and body scrub, charcoal bamboo, detoxifying body scrubs, this nail polish nail polish it's kind of cute i might have to use it and yeah that's just like miscellaneous stuff from Etsy that i haven't used um i have a lot of palettes okay this right here is the revolution um london the pro exhilarating exhilarate palette or whatever it's gonna call and yeah that's how that palette looks the color is like i feel like these colors are more like easter colors like if you want one of them pastel type colors this is like a real uh cute pastel palette so yeah that'll work for like easter stuff or whatever the next palette, this is the Social Light palette from Revolution London. And this is more like, this is like a neutral type colors. Um, you just want to do like a quick beat with neutral colors. I feel like this palette would be the one for it. Well, one of the ones. Um, they got your shimmers and stuff, some of them shimmery some of them like the transition and cut crease type color so yeah this is being this is a nice palette you can use as well okay so we're gonna go on to these ones these ones i love these palettes y'all it's very cheap don't care and it came from walmart so if you have in the walmart section i'm sure you have seen these um the walmart makeup section i'm sure you have seen these palettes and this is Wonderlust. Wonderlust. Y'all, please come through with these colors. Come through colors. These are so banging. And they are very pro pigmented shades. Or whatever. And yeah. They are bomb. Dot all the way to the comb. To the comb. For real. I love this palette. And as you can see, I have used it. That's enough. That's a nice palette, and they come behind with the sister pro pigmented. These are from the same company. I have used this palette, but like I said, I don't torture my palette. I take care of my palettes. This is another one, low pretty little something something. I feel this is another one like neutral. It has a lot of neutral colors in there. So uh, yeah, this is this is another I feel like a neutral color. If you want something with rich berries, uh pagan valids, or you know, something quick. It had a bunch of neutrals and pinks in it. But I love the name of some of these things. Like this one is called Power Up. This one called Queen. This one here called You Go Girl. And I believe I have used you go um go girl before. But this is another palette. <laughs> I finished yet because this one is the new Bliss one from the same company. And I have used this one too. Now this is definitely some chic and neutral. Not neutral, natural. And yeah. I have. Yeah, I have used this one before. As you can tell by the brush. 
I have used this one before and I like the way the eye color that I came up with came out or whatever. So yeah, this is another this is just like a just like I said, new bliss, but gives you that pop too. I'm gonna do a tutorial with this palette. So I can give y'all some some nude fall colors here because fall is about to be here. And y'all know that's my favorite season. This is another one that I love and I'm always using. This is my another my another one of my other go-to palettes. And yeah, this is basically the cousin to that one. As y'all can tell, I have used this palette so many times. So many times, so many times. And I love it. Love it. All four of these palettes here came from Walmart and it was like 15 bucks. Don't come at me. Yes, I did pay 15 bucks for each and every one of these. Because I could and I can't. <laughs> on a period. <laughs> Skip right on to the next one. So this is one of the Morphe palettes. This is the three, the 35B. And this is the Stunning Vibes. Uh, I have used this, but I haven't used it much. But I'm going to start utilizing my palettes because... I was told I don't use my stuff enough. I got all this makeup and I don't use it, according to people. So, I'm going to start using my palette so I can let people know. Yeah. I feel like sometimes the reason why I don't um, use makeup, my makeup like that, because I don't go nowhere. And plus, I feel like I don't got enough clothes yet. I don't got enough clothes yet because I want my clothes to match every palette I got so I don't have to stick to one palette or try to come up with a, a look for just yeah we'll talk about that later but anyway this is the 35B Morphe palette this is the Stunning Vibes palette and that's pretty cute it's got neutral stuff in there I feel like these these colors especially the dark colors on that side on this side I feel like those are like that smoky eye look or we out in the town type of you know shadow you know what I'm saying you with your bae you wanna go bust out a look look cute for yourself look cute for your bae you know just one of them just a couple of the year we out in the town type of look you know what I'm saying so I might have to come with a look for that to show y'all you know what I'm saying how y'all can be cute for yourself and babe and a night out of town you feel me so we gonna come to y'all live and direct with that one day for real I'm telling you, it's on a popper. It's on a popper. So that's another one. Okay, this is another Morphe palette. And this is the palette 35M, the boss mode. Uh, have I used this palette? No, I haven't used this palette. Um, truth be told, I like this palette. I like the colors and stuff inside this palette. But ain't no buts. Mm. I'm just sitting here looking at the colors and stuff. Like, I think I could your girl could do a little something, something with these colors for real, for real. I really think I could do a look with these colors. That's why I haven't used this one yet because I didn't know like which direction I want to go with these palettes or whatever case it be. Like I said, I am not nobody's makeup artist. I want to be a makeup artist. So, I need to figure it out. You know what I mean? I can't be one of I'm Right now, I'm an amateur makeup artist. But I want to be something bigger than this. You know what I mean? So, I feel like I need to do it big for y'all. And stop playing. But, yeah, these colors, it's kind of cute as well. Okay, so the next palette, of course, is my... Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the volume one. This is her first palette that she made with Morphe. And these colors are bad too. I have used this palette before. This is the palette I also have bought for a tie. Or whatever. This palette is more like a lot of neutral colors with a little pop of pink up here, a little pop of color down here, but it's more more neutral. Like her second palette, she went in. I'm telling you, that is my personal opinion. Baby girl went in with that palette. Like, she did it 
she did it because I felt she was saying like in her video like people were saying how this palette was cute and stuff like that but it was kind of bland but when that volume that volume two baby girl came with she came knocking down doors and stuff with that palette baby yes she did so this is her first palette uh yeah that's the one I like the most because she if you see that palette the way it looks lord have mercy jesus i don't know what the heck she be doing she's a hard user a hard user and of course this is none other than my homeboy skilling be my sister james charles i got the thing upside down this is our sister hey sister uh james charles makeup palette and I don't know why every time I open this makeup palette, it act like you don't want to open. But yeah, I have used this before too, but I haven't used everything in here. Now, if you see mine according to looking at Tide one, oh my Jesus, that thing look horrible. But um, yeah, that's why you got to put, you know, hmm. that's why you got to take care of your stuff for real, for real. You really, really have to put these stuff back. Like these little film things, it comes in handy because it co it covers your makeup and it really, really works. It won't, you know, all that spilling, it ain't gonna be none of that. But yeah, I love this makeup palette too. And he actually made a smaller palette like this for on the go because he was like, uh, this palette is a little too big to be traveling with sometimes. So he made a smaller palette of this or whatever. That's why I got the smaller brushes like to on the go. So yeah. That is what this palette be about. Let me see if I got any more. No, nope, I don't have any more. So you guys, this is the end of the video. And this is the end of what I have in my makeup bin. I went down each row with y'all, went through all of them. Y'all see different makeup palettes, whatever case it be. And yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be more added to this thing very soon. I don't know how soon, but very soon. So I just wanna say thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you share, share, share. Tell somebody that knows somebody that is somebody to come and rock with your girl and i'll see you guys in another video and send your big head back there say peace babe